development things have finished yet uh, because uh, it still has an extra week on them left. As you can see here, it's still in development. One more week. Uh, so we still have that for us. And as you can see here, we still have a lot, a lot of laps left on all our parts. Um, so we're still good there. Especially here. Uh, so uh, you see the lifespan, 9%. We definitely don't want to go past like 60 or anything. That could be easy for us to get past because of that. But we're going to hope for the best here. We have everything at the quickest it can be right now. Uh, let's just see how this goes. I'm going to let you guys hear the Honda. And I'll be quiet. It's so hard to do hard turns in this game with the, without having a wheel. Because, you know, the controller, like, the turning angle on these things is kind of crazy, so... Like, if you try to, you just, like, lose complete traction. I don't think this is a great lap. I mean, it's probably the best we can get out of the car. A 13th. Will it move us on to the next round? I don't know. We'll have to see if we get in the top 15. Yes, sorry, we barely beat Perez. Uh, by only a 10th, so... We're into the next round, we just gotta get in the top 10 now. Otherwise, we're not starting as bad as we were last race, we're at least starting 15th. That looked bad. Are you alright? Let me know you're alright. Alright, somehow we are quicker than Akon and Claire somehow. Uh, yep, okay, so 13th place, we did not make it, unfortunately, to the top 10. Uh, but we are gonna start P13, so not bad. Great start. Looks like, yeah, that, so apparently the Mercedes got a penalty too. I'm gonna go up the inside here, possibly get something on Alonso. I do get him as well. Grosjean's on the outside there. Can tuck in behind him. Alright, I gotta put the ERS back down as I do get. Oh, I don't have Magnuson just yet. Oh, that move. Does settle it, it puts me into fifth place somehow. Oh, they're catching up so quickly, I got a hungry pack behind me. Uh, signs behind us now. It's tough, I want to make sure I don't get screwed by the pits. So I just gotta keep them behind me, track position is important. It's like, I'm not gonna catch up to the guys over there. I will lose time to them. The only way I gain the time back is if I take the pit correctly and make sure that they don't gain too much time when I'm on my outlap. Take that corner smoothly. Let's go into none. Let's harvest that ERS for the straight. Five point seven seconds. That is a huge pack in because Gasly started in the back. Yeah, look how huge all the that's a lot of cars behind us. If I come out in the pits in between those guys, that's not good for me. Her ERS back down. Hello. Still the fact that I have to back off on that corner because I'm using controller is not the greatest. Okay, we are pitting this lap though. I don't know if Gasly's pitting this lap where we pit last lap. Grosjean's coming in as well. Will we jump him? Put this in low so we can harvest some ERS while we're in the pits. Actually, put on none. Alright, hopefully Grosjean... Okay, good. 
Oh no. Exit, exit I held up by the McLaren, but luckily, they got held up by us. Okay, so where will we come out here? We are still ahead of or behind Verstappen. Oh no, the pack of cars are right there. Oh no, we are not going to be behind Magnuson and Sainz. Alright, we barely stay on the front. The strategy paid off by not even a car length. Alright, we gotta make sure we keep these guys behind us, unlike what Magnuson's doing right now. Keeping up the inside, that's contact. He's back off though. Remember, I'm on my outlap, so my tires are cold. And they are not. The only reason I didn't go in beforehand is because I would have came out behind the siege pack. Yes, let's burn some of this energy. That's a good idea, Jeff. It looks like I'm not going to be able to run and rich the entire race. I'll have to wait until I am meeting. Oh, stick me in the nose? That's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I have issues with this car. They have issues back there. Somehow I got away with that. Although I do have a lot of front wing damage right now. Huh, Grosjean's out. Raikkonen's out too. Hopefully they didn't inch uh, for any random parts. I don't really. Alright, P6. Nice work, you did well today. I think the boss will be happy with that one. Great effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. So out. How exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, yep, there's a one, familiar red suit making second. its way to the top step. Car Fantastic win for Ferrari. Let's see where everybody finished out here. So then, it's time to see yeah, how so this result affects the race I got eight points. Sebastian Perez, Vettel McLaren, the, the two the McLarens got in there, two Force Indians got in there, two Mercedes got in there. And who would you go for? Oh boy. Let's give it to Sergio Perez. That was a good one. Okay, Ericsson, and now let's take a look at the constructors. Tired and and Gasly, I gained two positions, the but still no points for me. Their lead has taken us. What you'd like redeveloped via the workstation. Alright, some of them failed, they say. Alright, let's see. Department failures. Uh, we got the engine power good, but the weight reduction and front downforce did not work. Uh, that kind of sucks, actually. Because we spent all those points. Check out the R&D tree, though. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, so it is cheaper. upgrade it now since it was previously failed I guess all right and uh, maybe we should upgrade durability that would be smart or we can upgrade our power again I don't have enough resource points how much do we need 1025 so that will be the next thing to do these spark plugs uh, and that's going to be it for this video. Check out next week. Uh, look at the R&D progress here. Estimated delivery, Azerbaijan for both. Those are next. And everybody's kind of made a little bit of moves there. McLaren actually made a, quite a big jump. Uh, we've kind of stayed the same. Williams did pass Sauber though. So yeah, 11th and 6th so far. 7th in the standings. Toro Rosso in 7th as well. Williams, Sauber, still no points for them. Alright, see you guys in China.